Hello, today I'd like to touch on the aromas that I use and when I use them. I get asked a lot of times about uh, how much do I actually put into a kilo of ground beef. As a rule of thumb I try and stick to 100ml of liquid per kilo of ground beef. Quite simple, so 500ml which is in these bottles should last you 5 kilos. Quite simple. Um, a little trick that I normally use if I want to make ground bait heavier is use the molasses. Molasses, so I say. Um, if you want to make it really heavy and really sticky, then use this. It makes it really, really heavy, and it takes quite a while to break down too. So that's another idea that I normally use. If you're using sweet ground baits, such as, for example, Gold Pro, try not to add too much say for example caramel or brazine to it because it already has flavours in it so if you over sweeten it the, the, the fish might back off so just try and be a little bit careful with that so for example if I was using this um, I'd probably add I don't know probably half so like 50 ml of caramel or brazine to the mix um, another way you can get around it to use say the full amount like 100 ml per kilo so if I'm using uh, half a bag of bream, I'll put half a bag of brown crumb to it and then I'll still put the full amount of brazim or caramel in the mix. It kind of evens itself out because the brown crumb actually soaks up most of the flavour. Uh, another tri trick I use when I'm new mixing the ground bait up is if you get like a measuring jug, measure out 100ml of whatever aroma you're using and then add warm water to it. If you're mixing it the night before it's a lot easier. Just mix mix the two together and you'll find that the flavours actually come out even better than what they do if you use cold water. On another point with that, if you're using warm water you hardly ever get any clumps in your ground bait. Just one to watch out for. Um, and again if you're using a mix, say for canals, which I'd normally just use, well, well I've used quite a few times before, it's just uh, in the winter is super cut and I probably use super match with it. Um, I'd use that with the roach aroma. They seem to go to go together quite well. On the other hand, if I'm using uh, like commercial ground baits, I'd probably go for the like on the pole. I'll be using expander fish meal. If I want to enhance the flavour of that even further, I'd add some more of this marine shellfish to it. It just gives it a completely different smell uh, scent and it seems to work quite well. I caught quite a lot of bream and carp on that and some tench which is ideal. Um, but I tend not to try and use any sweeteners to fish meal mixes if that makes any sense. I normally try and go the other way or well, the other one I could use is uh, blood meal but that's another story. I'll go into that in another one with dry additives. Um, there are some other mixes where I do kind of use different aromas. Uh, for example, big fish. If I know I'm going to a water where um, I have to use a light ground bait, so like for example in the winter, I'll use, um, I don't know, just for example, I'll go with the roach mix, like super roach and probably um, super match or something along those lines for the winter. I'd normally stick this stuff in there, big fish. I've got no idea why, but the big for bigger fish do actually seem to be attracted to it. I actually use it in spray format as well. Um, if I'm not catching and I'm using pellets, <coughs> excuse me, on a method feeder, I'll normally get, get one of these sprays out. Brazim, we've got the carp, roach, and this on there. There you go. Big fish. I've caught so many fish just using a spray and that on my hook bait, as in pellets or maggots or <clears throat> whatever the case may be when I'm effort feeder fishing. For some reason, it always seems to pull a fish out of the bag. Um, another little tip if you're using uh, dead maggots in the margins, spray them with this. It's really, really good. I've lost count how many big fish I've caught on that. You know when they're sitting there all day and you don't seem to catch any? Just by spraying this on your maggots, it seems to go under quite quick. Obviously the brazim is for the bream. Um, 
<clears throat> I normally spray that on casters. Obviously the carb, I normally use that to flavour sweet corn or meat if I'm using that. The roach is also good for using, um, if, you, if, you, if you're using hemp on the hook, spray it with that and it totally changes the way everything works. Right, um, the next one I'll do it will be on um, powder additives. Um, hopefully I'll get that up in a couple of days. If you've got any questions, just comment below and I'll try and answer them. Thanks very much. Bye.